faith, God's word, and prayer is the best weapon that we can have, especially when we are tired. Be blessed today, only here on Let's Pray Filipinas! <laughs> Again, mga kapaglam, and welcome to Let's Pray Pilipinas. Nagauban kaninyo at mga prayer partners today. We have Ma'am Mimino. She's a nurse and she is teaching at MSU IIT Ateno. And we also have here our Malaysian friend, all the way from Malaysia. We have Ariana to be with us this morning to pray with us and in light to our topic now, which we will discuss in a while. Again, the numbers to call are 916. Five five seven four seven seven seven, and also for smart and our talking text kapag lam, you can call us at zero nine two nine three four four one seven seven seven. So tawag na mga kapag lam. We would also like to greet our viewers in our local antenna channel twenty five para sa cable channel. 17 and nationwide, we can be seen at Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao through GSAT 33. And we have another option too. For those on the go, you can watch us on Facebook and just type "Let's Pray Filipinas" and comment your concerns, prayer requests, or answered prayer. Wow, na na tayo mga bago nga hosts, mga kapaglaom. So yesterday we're actually very blessed because we had this discussion that was led by Arion and Atimimi together with LPP team on. Having God's word as the foundation when we had our devotional time and prayer time, and our quote of the day it's found in Psalms 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light on my path. It's a very nice verse. It's like a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. So in light. To this and in what we have studied today, I know you had a hard time like trying the two hours discussion <laughs> in like three uh, thirty minutes. So let's just give bits the general principles that we can take this morning. Let's start with Ati Mimi. No, so how was it that your experience and the core principle that you'd like to share? Well, for me, um, studying the Bible is really key to also have a prayerful life mm -hmm. because Bible study and prayer should be one. It's like marriage; it should be husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the key to studying the Bible is that we need to study God's Word very early in the morning because there should be no distraction, mm -hmm. and we cannot study the Bible without prayer. So we need to pray before studying the Bible because spiritual things can only be discerned spiritually, and so, and you know when you seek God early because it says in the Bible, when you seek me early, you shall find me, and especially when you seek me with all your heart, and so seeking God may take all your heart, but also it needs to have no distraction. But if you could not make it early in the morning, like there's an emergency early in the morning, you must set. Time to have a date with God. You need to set time to just really study God's word and have mental power. Focus your mental power in studying God's word. There's so much there to know. Yeah, because it is also in the Bible that we really learn how to pray because it would teach us examples on this. My prayer is not in accordance to God's will, so it will be revealed to us. Yona, like to add. Oh yeah, in addition to what Ate Mimi just said, so um, in our prayer life and also in our devotional life, mm. it's like a relationship, you know? It's like two person. Mm. The other one will talk and the other one will listen. So mm. God's word is His voice talking to us Amen. and prayer yes. is us talking to Him. So it cannot be just me praying like and God keep on listening and it cannot be just like God reading and we are not praying to him so it's 
a two-way relationship. So, um, in addition to that, when we want to seek Him, we yes. must beseech Him earnestly beseech. with all our hearts. Wow. Yeah, beseeching is really longing pleading. to have a pleading to have God, mga kapaglaum. And it's, yeah, listening and uh, talking to, to God, God. Mm -hmm. two-way. So, mga kapaglaum, keep that in mind because sometimes we have this thought that oh they're the ones who know the bible so let's just give our prayer to them yes. but but that's not the opportunity that god wants us to have it's really There's so for, much to learn mm -mm. in in god's word and if we know we can all prayers should be in god's will and we don't we can't know God's will if we don't study His Word. Mm. So this is the important when we study God's Word. In which our vocabulary, it will teach us how to really plead and how to really seek God's presence. Yes, yeah, so to our Kapaglaum, we would like to share to you that we can all have this experience. No, mm -hmm. You can see us here talking, but God wants us to have that relationship individually. Mm -hmm. That we can press on Him and our relationship, how our prayer will be cultivated. So we'd like to encourage our viewers that way. And right now, mga kapaglaum, while we're waiting for our caller, we'd be reading some of the prayer requests that was sent to us. I'd be starting from Mary Joy of Barangay, Marayag, Mati City. Good morning, let's pray Pilipinas. Ipapray lang na ako akong mama nga na ay gibati sa iyang lawas na unta, mawala. And another one from Vicky. Vicky um, good morning, akong ipaampo ang akong magula nga si Romil. Ugyang asawa sa ilahang birthday nga sila tagaan sa ginugpiskay nga panglawas. And lastly, from North Cotabato of Helen. Let's pray, Pilipinas. Good morning. Uh, magpaampo ko balik sa pagpangalagad sa ginoo. Sa akong anak o problema na mo nga matuman ang ta. Yona, mm -hmm. can you so, share? So, we have a prayer from 7 to 5, 6 from Davao del Sur. So, he is praying that he's, he will be accepted in his work. Mm -hmm. And also from Helen Omo of Upper Bala Magsaysay, Davao del Sur. He is, she's praying for peace and safety in their barangay. And last but not least, from 6321, he is praying that um, he will have a money to buy car motor to help him in finances. Mm. We also have our FB viewer, Pearly Shell jo jos Josu. Okay. He's praying for good morning. Please ko appeal sa pag-ampo ka Mr. Abdul Muntud nga ma-okay iyang panglawas. Mm. Another FB viewer si Celso Ignilan. Good morning. Request ko pray sa akong husband, cousin si Castor to protect him. Always a bed kay kinahan siya healing sa iyang gibati o kauban siya sa iyang wife o iyang daughter ni si Christine and April. Thank you and God bless. Lastly, si Ive Aniban of Masbate. Hello dia sa atong kapaglaom sa Masbate. Uh, good morning. Mga kapaglaom, request ko sa pinak pinasahi nga prayer sa akong kani 6 months old nga ihang pinsan nga si Kate Olifernes. Hinaot nga mag maayo siya, operahanan siya karon sa iyahang abat. Uh, Akan nga bata ang kinahalan siya mas stable mm. kay karon ato operahan siya. Okay. All right, and before we pray mga kapagla, we'd like to greet we have a viewer in Facebook. I believe Kaila si Ate Mimi Ani Salmodi Amarillo. Hi to my sister Fessa May, Ate Mimi. Nice to see you in Let's Pray Pilipinas Ate. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and also Yona, you might like to greet your uh, mom and dad. They might be watching. <laughs> Hello, mommy and daddy. <laughs> this is so Thank cute. you for prayer. Okay, and we have a caller. Go ahead, Kapaglam. Good morning. Yes. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good Mom morning. Ivan. This sounds familiar, Mom Joy. Ah, Mom Ivan, I want to pray. Yes. Go ahead. Father-in-law. Mm-hmm. Yeah, na 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 Kanang gibati kaya na na isrok mong kung siya mamaiban. Kanus ah? Mga 
If you guys remember, we've been with Mom Joy in um, during the medical mission oh, that we yeah. had. <laughs> so, Mom, if yeah, there were a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, yes, atong mga kapag no, this two had been with us during the helping one another. Mm -hmm. And we're so blessed to have them, no? So, Mom Joy, please stay on the line. I'll be praying with you together with our prayer partners. So, let's go ahead. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord that you have revealed your will in us and how we can know you more and how we can seek you even in this um, generation lord your truth is present and you have provided your holy spirit to teach us to give us understanding and we're sorry lord for times that um, we fail to do the things that you have already allowed us to know but we plead to you lord to give us that desire again to study your word to really seek you to have a time with you because this is where prayers are being answered with your guidance and now lord we'd also like to lift to you a few of our kapaglams and be starting with um, mom joy's father-in-law sir conrado and also our kapaglam in mati city mary joy they had a physical sickness, Lord. And however, we know that when you heal, you want us to be totally healed. So, Father, we'd like to claim that verse in Psalm that you will be healing us, the afflicted and those having broken hearts. You'd be with them. You're our number one doctor, Father in heaven. Be with them today because in your presence alone there is healing. I'd like to also pray for Mom Vicky's um, son and daughter in law. They have been celebrating their birthday this month. Lord, I pray that you would allow them to remember how you have blessed them in the past so their celebration would be complete as they would um, see how blessed they are and know that you will continually work in their lives and they could claim promises and that, oh Lord, I pray that um, their walk with you will be um, will be a glowing experience give them the christian happiness that you would want to uh, truly have in their lives revive them oh lord each day and let them see um, the true happiness and also i'd like to pray lastly for mom helen she had been serving you lord and you know the whole situation and what it is that is hindering her right now to continually serve you it, somebody or something might have discouraged her or a thought in mind that she cannot give up we don't know it lord but you know the whole thing the whole matter and i pray lord that she'd be able to surrender this to you and that you may give her the peace of mind the sound mind that uh, she's been longing for and lord help her to see um how she can serve you and um, surrender the things that really bothers her. And this we ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, in continuation to the prayer, we praise you for your God of the universe. You are limitless, God, for you have promised that for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways are your ways. As the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Indeed, dear Father, we are praying to the God of universe who alone can answer our prayer, who alone are taking good care of us. So dear Father, this morning once more we want to ask for forgiveness and of sin. May you forgive us and may you accept us again today. Empty us of ourselves and fill us with your Holy Spirit. So this time dear Father, we want to pray specifically for our brother here who is praying that he will be accepted 
in his work and also another brother from um, sister from Davao del Sur, Mom Helen Omo, dear father, she wants to be prayed that there will be peace and safety in her barangay. And Lord, you have promised in Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 that you will give the perfect peace whose mind has stayed on thee. And Lord, here there's another brother who wants to be prayed financially. Lord, you have promised that you're able to provide and we know that you can provide for him also the needs of the people out there who is in need of you, who is seeking for you. May you provide for them, dear Father. And dear Lord, we want to pray for family and safety for this family from Dipolog City. Um, it's the family of Rene Boy Buhisan. Lord, thank you so much that you are the God of love and you are the God of family and we know that you can save this family. And Lord, we want to pray for um, Mildred, Mildred Aroy from Nabunturan, Komval. He will be having his exam and Lord, thank you so much that you are the God of wisdom. You promise that you are the only God who can give wisdom and we want to pray that may you give him the wisdom from above. And Lord, we claim your promise in Jeremiah 23 verse 3. Call to me and I will answer thee and I will show thee great and mighty things which you do not know. Thank you so much for the answer to this prayer. In Jesus name. Yes, Lord, as you are our Father, you are also our friend and you care for your children, Heavenly Father. You are a God who has sent your Son to die on the cross for us, for our salvation and you do care for us. Lord, we lift up to you our cares, for we know that you care for us. Lord, you have promised in thy word that we, when we call unto you, you are ready enough to answer our prayers. And so now, Lord, we, I come unto you for these who have prayer requests for our brother, um, Mr. Abdul Muntod, who has a problem in his health. I pray, Lord, as you, it is your hope for us that we would have an abundant life, a joyful life, and I pray for him as he is suffering from any illness. I pray, Lord, that please touch him with your healing hands. You have healed before when Jesus was here on earth. It was your hands who could only heal. You are our greatest physician, so we come to you to heal those who are sick today especially those who have sent us requests sir abdul muntod um, also um, the husband of um, sister egmilan they are suffering lord i pray that you will heal them as well as the six months old um, kate olifernes lord i pray that she will also have her surgery today that you will be with her, touch the hands of the doctor who will be uh, his physician. I pray that you will guide his hands as he will also uh, do the surgery today. And I pray that they will submit to your will as to their health. Teach them, Lord, how to also take care of their health as you would want us to take care of our health. Lord, we also especially praying for our sister, Remeline Kuna of Kalamba. As she is also having a cyst in her breast, I pray, Lord, that you will heal her and teach her, Lord, the right lifestyle that will be of healing to her health. And I pray for um, Sister Ginger and also, Lord, from Cavite. His Lolo is also sick. I pray that you will also touch her, him with your healing hands. And especially, Lord, for this... Um, our viewer, Billy Mianyo, he is being a helper to a household, Lord, and he is sick. He is uh, having pain in his body. I pray for him. Lord, you are a God who sees our needs and who sees all our troubles. Lord, if you are so willing to give your son to die for us, you are also so willing to heal us. But more than healing, Lord, we also need spiritual healing. I pray for them, whatever may be their anxieties and their um, issues in life. I 
pray that you will also heal them not only physically but also spiritually thank you lord for the promise that if we ask you and if we believe we will you will hear our prayers and you will answer our prayers because we ask all these things in the mighty name of your son jesus christ our lord and yet our savior amen thank you mga kapaglaom for being with us and also our prayer partners mga kapaglaom um that's really one of the um, blessings no when we know or when we study god's word we see examples of how God have answered prayer in the past and also we can know the promises like when we pray we can use them like like Yona ganin uh, a while ago she was claiming um, Jeremiah 33 uh, 333 that God has a plan when so we can do that as well mga kapagla. going back sa ato ang gihisgutan ganina um, so aside from principles what else would you guys like to share? Ate Mimi? You know, when, when we pray the Bible, or when we, when we study the Bible, yes. when we study God's Word, when we are not used to it, it may not come naturally for us to like studying the Bible. Many even make the Bible, when they study God's Word, they fall asleep. Sleeping pills. Yeah, <laughs> they make it a sleeping pill. But it, ne it needs um, discipline to study God's Word. And if you truly love God, you will love reading His Word because it's like a love letter, God's love letter to us. Mm. So, you know, when you study God's Word, ask the Holy Spirit to give you the appetite to study God's Word. Mm. It's not natural for our sinful heart to love studying God's Word, mm. but He can give those hearts to us when we ask Him. He, he promised in His Word, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened unto you. And so when we when we ask, we need, we need to ask for the Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. I see. Yes, and mga kapag -lam. thank you to Mimi. We have a caller, another caller on the line. Yes, go ahead. We have a really few minutes left. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead, Mama uh, Alicia. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I request na prayer, ma'am, para sa akong Marie Okay. name, stroke? Oh, si Marie uh, Marie, okay, we'll be asking Ate Mimi to pray for this prayer request and also like to greet a few of our Kapaglams. We have Sir Mervin. Good morning, mga Kapaglam. They are pleasing to your prayer, a patient. We will be praying with this because there's too many. <laughs> we have, I'll just greet right now. We have Mom Joylin de la Cruz and also Mom Vanessa. We have Samir, Hishe Amen, and also we have um, Sir Rene Ko. Kolyama joining in us with prayer and we also have Sir Brave Nove, Mom Bevet and we have here, I think you know this person, Ariana, um, Jade, Rosane, Justine, you are blessed, Ariana and your prayer friend, prayer friends, praying for you, okay? <laughs> and right now, so let's pray with Ate Mimi. So that's mom, from Mom Alicia, no? Yes, prayer Marie. For someone strong. who is struck, Marie. Yes. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you specially, specifically for Mom Alicia, our friend Marie. Yes. I pray as she's having a stroke, I pray that you will touch him, Heavenly Father, and you will restore to him his good health. Lord, you have promised in thy word, Lord, if you call me, then you shall find me. I pray, Lord, that you will give back to her um, good health and strength from all that she can be able to serve you more and know you more and accept you Lord as this personal Lord and Savior thank you for the privilege Lord that we can come to you in our needs and in our joys and in our wants thank you Lord for hearing and answering our prayer because we ask these things in the mighty name and powerful name of your son Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. All right.
right? Mga kapag love, no? Um, any final words? Ate, let's start with Ariana. I'd like to leave to our viewers. Mm. My final word? Yes. Let's claim God's promise. And this morning, I invite us to claim a promise in Psalm 18 verse 30. It says that God's way is perfect mm -hmm. and all of His promises prove true. He is wow. a shield for all who took protection from Him. Amen. God's word is perfect. Ate Mimi, just short. The, the Word of God says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of our heart. Wow. You know, we need to delight in the Lord. Delight. delight in spending time with His Word. Amen. Also, not having a hasty um, concept when we study God's Word, but really have a, a time for God. And mga kapalang, we'd like to thank our sponsors for continually sharing their blessing to Hope Channel and also to our manager, Sir John Sir Joe Kalibut, and our volunteers here with us also praying. And again tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. only here on Let's, Let's Pray, pray Filipinas, Filipinas where you don't have to pray alone. alone. If you have been blessed by this program, share hope and help us continue to bring hope everywhere. Send your donations to South Philippine Union Conference through any of the bank details shown here. Hope Channel. Sharing love, changing lives. Samok Pastor, walay kalinaw ang among pagpuyo. Unya, tungod kay na kuang ko sa dautang binuhatan, unang-una ang droga, magamit yun ko adto sa una. Unya, ang akong mga anak, ana, halos kami ng tanan, Pastor, ng gamit, ana. Pagbati na ako, Pastor, kahadlok, unya, pagbasol, kung nam naminaw pa lang unta ko sa ginoo at itong panahon na nasa laya pa ko, wala unta ko makaabot din sa presuhan. Lisod, Pastor, ang mga pinereso. Kay dili ni mo mabuhat ang tanan ni mong gustong buhaton. Yun niya, pag ampun ako sa ginoo, yung ko ginoo, asa mang yun ko. Tudloy ko sa kanang tama na iglesia na akong sudlan. Nagpabautismo na dayon ko. Nag-desisyon na dayon ko. Kay Grabe ka ayo ang akong kalipay na dinhi ko sa Adventista kaysa didto kay kung didto man god ang akong gipangayo sa Ginoo na mga pagampo na dili lang ko tigpaminaw kinanglan mo buhat pud ko sa pulong sa Ginoo kung kabubuton sa Ginoo na makagawas ko dinhi mga lagad jud ko sa Ginoo ug tapuko na ko ang akong mga anak na lima ka aron sila usab sabay kami mga lagad kaniya Akong na kuan sa akong kasing-kasing na naa ko ay kalinaw sa iyahan na ako ay kalipay o labaw sa tanan na ako ay paglaong. It takes a global network to be in touch with Planet Earth's global community. Hope Channel broadcasts everywhere in the world with 10 global channels and is affiliated with more than 50 production studios on six continents. Hope Channel provides a diverse cultural programming mix in many of the world's major languages. Hope is more than great television. Welcome to Hope Channel.